These have been held in customs for almost more than a month now. That's the amount of light that's being added by these two small lights. The sticker probably says most of the story. This is a transition visor, guys. It can change from clear to dark when it's sunny. One reason the shipment got delayed is because of this. Customs didn't accept that. I feel like a bit like Thanos or what Jerry Rig. Let's do this. Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are and when you're watching this, so welcome to a new vlog. In case you're noticing some sweat on the forehead, that's because I tend to sweat a lot immediately after shower. Just got ready to head out uh, to get some things done on the bike. And as you can see, back in my room, back in Hyderabad after almost, what, nine days? Thoroughly love the trip. Let me know what you think. In case you haven't seen that video, go check it out. If you like it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also share it with as many people as you can. If you notice something in the background, those are the boxes that I do for unboxing. Quite a few boxes. In fact, these have been held in customs for almost more than a month now. Eventually I got them. I'll explain the story in the later section of this video. But for now, I need to take this small bag of lights and get them installed on the Ducati. I won't be installing them all because I don't still have the crash bar. I'm waiting for that. It should be coming sometime in the first uh, week of September. So still waiting for that. But before that, I need to get the bike ready to be shipped out. And as I said, we're heading to the mountains, to the highest motorable road, and we're getting the bike ready for that. In fact, it would be shipped before we get the bike ready. So lots happening. Chal, let's get going. Not as big as the other ones on here. Stock are bright, but these are fog lamps, the bottom ones. So I'll put those. Huh? So using as a fog lamp. Yeah, hello. That's easy. I'll fit it at home. Hey, welcome back to the vlog. I don't know how long it's been. You know, there are people riding those kind of bikes for 30,000 kilometers, dude. I don't want, I have an adventure tour. Personally, for adventure tour, I like that. I don't want to replace my bike. Please, this is more fun. This is more uh, content. I guess you enjoyed the mountains. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you went in the wrong timing, I guess. Just the rains. It was very hard. Uh, we, uh, the videos, whatever we kept, was like 5% of water. <laughs> <laughs> we were really scared, my parents. No, seeing Ducati's multi, the tires were the first change I wanted to do, but still concerned about the Olins and all. Let's see. You can do it. Rohan has the same tire setup, 70 inches on both ends. So he has done it on uh, his multi. Well, Ford's Dreams bar. As you can see, back home, but the Sony camera is excellent in nighttime, so no issues in terms of lighting. Talking about lighting, just uh, went to Dynamic Riders to get the small auxiliary lights and the wiring harness fixed. These are primarily fog lights, but they look white now because I forgot taking the amber lens uh, while getting them fitted. Let me show you how, li how bright these small D2 lights are. So this is the controller for lights. Previously, we used to have a joystick and used to control that uh, on the BMW. Here we have a dedicated switch. The advantage with this dedicated switch is, see, I can hold it to turn the turn these lights off and double click turns them on. If I double click again, it changes to blue. So those are the primary lights. These are the secondary lights. And I don't know if you can see here, but there is a light intensity. It can go from zero to hundred percent. See? That's the amount of light that's being added by these two small lights. The existing lights are quite bright. That's with the high beam on. These lights were good, but still not sufficient. You need these ox lights when you're going through forests or let's say hills in the mountains, especially when there are bad stretches, you need these extra lights. And the best part for me is this controller because I used to struggle to see if the lights are on or off. Press and hold and it's turned off. That's it. Simple, right? Currently, they were installed uh, at the fuse box, but the problem while installing uh, the main uh, power connector to the fuse box is, in case something goes wrong with the lights, it can damage the fuses also. So on my BMW, I had that hex easy can, if you remember, that's the canvas manager, which bypasses all these. With these, these are a bit more direct. Dial dim controller by Denali. Kind of works as a bridge between the bike and the lights. 
so that's the idea at least but i still need those uh, pause connectors to connect to the lights horn uh, high beam indicators to have some smart functions the setup will definitely be completed but most probably in chandigarh but we just need to wait the bike's getting ready we still have some more stuff for me which are the boxes that i showed in the morning let's go unbox them because i've been waiting to do that for the last uh, three days since I came back to Hyderabad. There was so much of drama and story behind these three boxes that I received from Climb that it will be a whole video on its own. In fact, it took uh, UPS, who is the shipper for these packages, almost one month to get these cleared through customs. The amount of follow-up that I had to do with UPS, uh, be it the number of emails or the calls that I had to make while I was traveling, it felt more like a public service company but for now i just want to open these boxes and enjoy the stuff in there and show you what it is and after a lot of popular public demand i purchased this from amazon that's a stanley uh, unboxing or knife whatever you call it so let's get going this sticker probably says most of the story at one point the ups status message said this box including the other two would be destroyed as per local laws and regulations because they didn't meet some custom laws or regulations i was so disheartened by seeing those messages that i almost gave up but as luck has it we finally got the package without a further ado let's unbox them <laughs> This is a helmet that I've been wanting for so long. I hope you like the color. So we get a pin lock, although I'm not a fan of pin locks. We also get an extra pair of visors. This is a transition visor guys. It can change from clear to dark when it's sunny. Perfect, right? And that's my new helmet, the Climb Creos Pro Carbon Fiber. Damn, the website doesn't do justice to how good this helmet looks in person, man. And the best part about Climb helmets is removing this beak or visor is a simple process. You just turn this and remove the visor. Another lovely feature about this helmet is you see the pull tab here. That's how it locks. And if you're wondering, is it safe? Well, it's been tested and a lot of riders use it, but dude, this is so easy, man. I keep forgetting sometimes uh, wearing the D-ring, so I have to stop and uh, do it, but this would just make it super easy. I'll uh, show the fit and the features of the helmet in a different video. Let me get through the packages because we have two more left, but this one is going to be something that I'll use quite often. Not on the bike, but off the bike though. One reason the shipment got delayed is because of this. This is a prototype for testing, not for resale. They had to just mention some price and customs didn't accept that. That's the Climb Kodiak bag. Bag that I've been eyeing for a long time. This will carry my jacket, pant, helmet, gloves, shoes. You see how big that bag is. It's basically a checked baggage that's made for carrying your riding gear. Let me open the bag and quickly show you how what the store is like. A small pouch. Dedicated compartments, space to keep your helmet. I think we're sorted for our big biking trips going forward. Hello, let's get to the next package and the final one. These are extra cheek pads and I don't know if you can see, but 
the size is XS MD 30 mm. These are the right fit for my head size. I did try the helmet on, it's a bit loose and that's because in that color they only had the large in stock. But luckily the shell size is the same. So you just need to change the cheek pads and you can make it a small or medium size one. Also got these nice lovely looking Gore-Tex gloves. Much needed for our veins. This is something I missed in the last trip. This layer, that's the Gore-Tex pocket. Oh boy, it feels so nice inside. It's like some uh, wool kind of material. One disadvantage with Gore-Tex gloves is they're bulky. Also, don't have the same tactile feel that you get with the regular mesh gloves, which are much more snug. These are comfortable, like extremely comfortable, and they are bulky because they have to, to make sure they're waterproof. But I think I could have gone for a size lower. Large, I think, would be perfect. So in case you're buying gloves, Gore-Tex, uh, especially these Badland GTX gloves from uh, Climb, go for a size lesser than what it recommends. Just my feeling. While putting them on, it's slightly tighter but this is where the grip is the most important one and i feel it's slightly on the larger side in fact i feel like a bit like thanos or what jerry rig let's do this and those are the pants the climb badlands pro a3 pants some of you might be wondering why grey, wouldn't it get dirty and messy? This gear is for adventure. This is supposed to get dirty, but you can always get them washed. But the best part is, I didn't want black because that's a very bad conductor of heat. I didn't want white because it's, it can get really bad and dirty. This is somewhere in between. This is called monument grey, but I think it looks, it has a slight bluish tint to it. Let me keep this aside and open the jacket and then we'll wear them on and see how they look. This definitely has a blue tinge more than grey. Let's see how uh, they look on me. Not removing the tags because in case I have to return and if this is a wrong size but feels at home because I've been using a climb uh, jacket and pant already which is very similar to this but this is much more advanced version. The same lovely kidney belt which makes this jacket feel feather light. I feel like I'm a bit of an astronaut in this. Trying to recreate that look that I had uh, with the last Claim gear. This is the Claim Badlands Pro jacket. You can always cinch these down to make them look a bit more snug. And now it looks slightly better. And that's my Claim Badlands Pro jacket. And that's how the pant looks. All the zips pockets feel familiar even though this is Gore-Tex and fully waterproof these are some of the most ventilated jackets you see how many zips we have all these can be opened up to let air in when you're riding and I've used the Gore-Tex gear peak traffic summers winters rain and I love these jackets the only thing that I'm not a big fan of is how they look they're not snug like a Dyni Z but none of the jackets right now in the market comes to Climb in terms of the waterproof protection. I'm not saying this because of this is sponsored my claim, but I've been using the Climb Kodiak uh, gear and I'm thoroughly happy with that. To see how the full setup looks on a bike, you need to wait for the videos when we start riding in the mountains. We won't have a dedicated photographer, but we'll figure out ways to shoot myself while being in the lovely pictures locations of Ladakh. Some of you might be wondering why did I get the uh, Badlands Pro when I already have Kodiak? Well, this is a better jacket in terms of crash protection. Also, this is an upgraded jacket in terms of the features and the materials compared to the Kodiak. So if you want more details, go to the website, check it out. If you like uh, some of their products, they ship to India. So just go ahead and order. Obviously, keep in uh, mind the custom duties as it varies. Sometimes uh, it was 40%, sometimes it was 70%. It's based on your luck. You can also find Klein products in our local Indian distributor, BigBadBikes.com, but they don't carry the entire collection. Like, you don't get this latest color and uh, version of the Badlands Pro or even the Kodiak when I got it. And that's the unboxing of my new Klein Badlands Pro gear in the Kodiak bag along with the Klein Creos Pro helmet. I think we're all set for the trip. Now it's a matter of just shipping the bike to the mountains and start riding.
make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell icon for instant notification when all the videos go up. That's all. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know everything in the comment section. And in case you're watching this night, have a good night. Take care. Bye bye.